Hey, Adam, how are you doing today? I'm doing well, Laura. How about you? Great, thanks. So I understand you want to learn a little more about file transfer capabilities within our Helix Control M solution, correct? Yes, file movement is a mission critical requirement for our business. So I'd like to hear more. Absolutely. In our Helix Control M solution, our embedded managed file transfer capability puts you in control of file transfers with an intuitive graphical user interface to guide you through job definitions and ensure transfers are associated with comprehensive automated workflows. You get instant visibility into the status of internal and external file transfers with a dashboard view, enhanced security with encryption options, and reduce risk of downtime with automated monitoring and recovery features. For our customers, this means no more cu custom integrations, scripting and manual interventions to synchronize managed file transfers independently from their business workflows. BMC and Helix Control M have created a standardized and easily consumable MFT capability embedded into the solution as an integral part of workflows distributed across the enterprise, uh, driving efficiency, better security, and enabling agility. Wow, that's great to hear. My team is currently focused on an AWS integration. How does this integration with AWS landing sites like S3 buckets? Yeah, I'm glad you asked. The Managed File Transfer plugin is an FTP, SFTP client and server solution that enables you to watch files and transfer files in your organization. It supports accessing a local file system as well as Amazon or compatible S3 and SFTP protocols. It also provides an easy file search capability too, as you can see right here. Now let me go ahead and show you the flow where we will be initiating those file transfers into our S3 buckets. So as you can see here, we have a workflow that includes local to local uh, file transfer task, local to S3 bucket task, as well as an S3 bucket to another S3 bucket task. This last task within the flow is a normal SLA management template to act as a service monitoring task for the transfer flow. So we're going to go ahead and run this. Now that we've run this, let's take a look at our, the S3 buckets we've set up. So here you can see that I've created a couple of S3 buckets for storing some simple files for the purpose of our discussion and demonstration today. You can see that this bucket already contains a text file, whereas this secondary bucket is waiting for a file. This will be the bucket that we transfer the text file into once we kick off the flow. And then this first primary bucket will also receive an additional file for our local to S3 transfer task. Now that we've run this, we're gonna jump into our monitoring domain. And we can see that the flow has been run, but it's waiting for user input. So now we're going to go ahead and confirm this to let it, the rest of the flow run. As you can see, the flow completed successfully. So let's go ahead and check those buckets. So you can see that the local file was transferred into our primary bucket. And then in our second bucket, you can see that the text file from the first bucket was transferred into our secondary bucket and was actually renamed LAG S3 bucket transfer during the transfer. So is this the sort of integration and file transfer movement using AWS S3 that you were hoping to see? Yes, this is the kind of file movement solution we are looking for with our application workflow, workflow orchestration. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you for your time, Adam.